Okay guys, functional progression three. We're gonna be in hands and knees position. So we're trying to always find neutral spine, rib cage stacked over our pelvis. So I'm gonna come here, get your spine nice and neutral. So you're gonna press away from the floor. So active through the shoulders, tuck your chin so you're next in line with the rest of your spine. And then your knees are gonna be a little bit wider than your ankles, just like in functional progression one. So this is essentially functional progression one, but now we are in this upright position versus laying on our back. So breathe all the way around that waistband. And same thing as in functional progression one, it's gonna be opposite foot, opposite hand. So the trick here is because we are upright now, it's a lot more challenging to control this movement. So you don't wanna have a big shift to the side when you go to do it. So breathing all, around, or all the way around that waistband, reach out. Try not to get a crunch in the low back. So we're only going as far as we can go without pulling that spine out of neutral. And so again, you can make this a little bit smaller. You can just do your hands. The goal is to feel that core engage. Or you can just do it here. Make it work for you. We can always progress it further.